Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are all feeling nice and festive. The holiday season is hitting you guys. It definitely started to probably creep up on me today. I'll probably really feel the Christmas spirit by tomorrow. Um, but all you guys who came into the stream today, I appreciate it. The guys have just been supporting all the content and watching the videos recently. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. Um, and today we have a video on the new team. We have Team 2 is here, guys. And honestly, it's an absolutely incredible team. Um, we're going to talk about everything in this video between packs, um, lightning rounds, new players, SBCs, things like that. I had a request from a couple of the viewers to stop talking about some of the leaks, and we're going to stop. I understand that totally. Really quickly, I want to talk to you guys about is the wildcard swap rewards. EA have now placed that like more in the menus than they have. Um, basically, EA on December 26th, which is Sunday, are going to release all the uh, available options. So for two tokens, you get a 50k pack. For three tokens, you get an 81 to 89 10 player pack, which to be honest, I have been opening and it actually is really good. For five tokens, uh, you get an ultimate pack. Five tokens, you can also do an icon home and away kit. For eight, you can get uh, Christian Gunter, which is actually a decent looking card. We do have to take a look at Daka. I don't think Daka has been added in uh, yet. He's not. So we don't know his in games because Daka as a gold card is... 3-star, three 3-star, three but if, honestly, if he gets boosted to potentially 4-star, four 4-star, four um, that could be an option that's interesting, although you wouldn't probably take that because the 85 times 10 is really OP, um, and if you guys don't know already, I did want to show you guys something uh, with the 85 times 10 pack. Ow, I just opened up my channel, and, um, man, my, my I was listening to myself, like, scream at myself, but if we look at a video from last year, guys, um, this is 85 times 10, and uh, this was for the footies team. And this is obviously when we had a lot of cards and packs, guys. But the 85 times 10 uh, is literally just an insane, insane, insane pack. So you'll see as I open this. I mean, obviously at the time, we didn't have that many players in there. Um, but it's it's crazy for fodder. Now, this is probably a really bad example of an 85 10. Uh, there's probably many 85 tens that are better. You know, you can see here. But generally for like this time of the year in the power curve, it's going to be a pretty crazy pack. Um, so I'm definitely going to choose that. In terms of tokens, like, I've been on my grind. Um, I am securing all of the tokens possible. If you guys go to Untradeables, um, make sure you guys do marquee matchups today as well. There is a token in marquee matchups today, and I want you guys to know that just in case you forget. Um, there is a token in marquee matchups. But, yeah, right now I'm on three, uh, six, nine. I don't know how many are totally available. I have 11 as is right now. Um, and right now I also believe that there's an objective uh, that is potentially requiring one. I think it's like a silver objective. The Silver Stars also has one this week. Uh, and then I think there's also an objective. I think it's somewhere in the milestones. It's it's another one. It's like you have to go into the mode, I think. I think it's down here a little bit. Um, mega matchup, I think, is what it is. Yeah, and that, not, that gives you a token. It also gives you a mega pack. But this one is a little bit more of a grind. I think people are doing gold and gold in this one. But um, yeah, this one is a little bit more of a grind. So Keep your eyes out for that. But yeah, the swaps program's coming out the day after Christmas, which is actually awesome. Um, I'm probably going to save my 85-10 uh, for Team of the Year. We do have some new season cards, and we'll talk about those in this video. First of all, we're going to talk about the new promo. So EA dropped an SBC today. By the way, guys, I ran through a little bit of like a... It wasn't a lightning round, but um, I did the 81-89, to 89, which is actually in... Um, the it's actually in here for three tokens and i'm starting to think it's incredible value because i did uh five of those packs i put a video on my twitter if you guys want to check that out and see what i got because we don't really know what to do with that it's not really it's, it's kind of too short it's kind of too long to put on the clips channel so i've been put, posting more uh videos on twitter for you guys that want to follow those just kind of from the streams and what we're doing because we don't really post those in the main channel videos i like my main channel videos to be really quality content for you guys um kind of just giving deep dives at what's going on in fifa and um, the 8189 seems really good. So I think for me, like my plan right now, I'm going to try my best to get all the tokens, which I think is 25 total. Um, I'm going to try. I think realistically, you know, something that I can totally do is the 15 token option with the 85 times 10. Um, and then I think I'll do the 8189, which is, you know, that's 18. And that leaves me with, I think it's seven remaining tokens that are available. There might be a little bit less or more. So I, at the end of that, I'll probably go for an ultimate or a rare players pack. Maybe I'll go for the icon kits if I really get 23 or 25, but I, I doubt it. 
Um, anyway, so we had an SBC today, and, like, you know, he's nothing too special. I did want to point out this card. Um, yeah, not too special, guys. Nothing, like, really too crazy there. High, medium work rates, four-star, four-star. Um, you know, nothing too nuts. I think, you know, it's kind of crazy. Like, it is actually a really solid card for Serie A teams. It's it's not behind the power curve, but I think it's, it's so affordable that I'm not really going to complain here. Like, it's only an 82 and an 84, and, guys, fodder is dying right now, so... If you guys are interested in completing SBCs, I don't even think it's going to go up anymore. Um, I, I think it's just going to be dead because of the amount of lightning rounds EA are running. It's over-invested. EA are running lots of lightning rounds. I don't think party bags or any of that's going to make it go up. So don't rush. Um, I think SBCs will be very cheap for the next couple of days and, and weeks. As long as EA keep the lightning rounds going, um, the market is not going to be able to handle like that level of supply, in my opinion. Um, the one thing that's doing really well is informs, and I think we'll get another party bag probably this weekend. And uh, I think informs will do really well from that. So... Keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm not uh, really too sure what else is coming out this weekend, but I'm definitely not going to be doing much on Saturday. We will have a video for Christmas because I'm assuming EA will probably drop some content on Christmas. But guys, let's talk about the new team today a little bit before we do anything else. A um, couple of cards in here that look really cool. I mean, Eden Hazard's one. Actually, guys, it's just turned 6 p.m., so let me check the store. And that's 11 for you guys in UK. I know it's we always say 6 p.m. content, but let me see in the store if EA added more lightning rounds. Oh, my God. There's more lightning rounds. So EA are just full sending this damn promo. 85 plus. We've got an 85 plus star rare players back. Contains 10 rare gold players. One player to be 85 overall or higher. So you, you can actually not even get a walkout in here, I believe. What's your chance of getting a winter, winter wild card? It's 5.7%. So what I actually noticed is that the um, the pack weight for this promo is a little bit lower. And it's because the value of the players is higher. And we also have way less. Um, but we've got some fantastic cards. And I, and I want to give kudos to EA because these cards are looking incredible. Eden Hazard. Four-star, four-star, high, medium work rates. Um, you pop this guy in-game as a cam. I mean, he's absolutely incredible. What a card. 91 agility, 92 balance. So, like, I, I look at these cards, and they're almost team of the season level cards, and it's December. So, I, kudos to EA, because these cards are very, very good looking in terms of usage. Like, you give Hazard a Hunter, this card is incredible, right? And I think he's such an ideal cam. Nick, why is he so cheap, right? I think Hazard is so cheap, guys, because of all the Vinny special cards. And just the lightning rounds. The lightning rounds in general are making these cards less rare which is causing them to generally just be cheaper. Um, anytime a card has more supply, it's going to be a little bit cheaper in the market. So Hazard looks incredible. I really like what they did with Sterling. They actually gave him a four-star weak foot. He's actually only 450K. I, I thought this card was going to be like a million coins all day. Four-star, four-star, high, medium, with probably some of the best dribbling stats in this game. Um, 97 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, 89 finishing, 93 attack positioning, and then they made him left-footed, which is kind of cool. I guess it adds a little bit more of a unique vibe that Raheem Sterling is now a left-footed player. Um, it's a little bit more interesting, right? I think it's cool that EA have done it. I think I'm always down for them to change up stuff like this. So, yeah, I, I thought it was pretty cool. And this promo is just absolutely incredible. Like, I, the fact that basically EA released all these cards today, not only are they all expensive for the most part, but they're all, like, really usable. Lucas Mora is a really cool card. I mean, you know, these guys all have usages to be a striker or a cam, and they're really easy to link, right? Lucas Mora is about 700K. Um, so fast. So fast. Incredible dribbling. Incredible aggression, great jumping, amazing passing, really good shooting. Lucas Moore looks like one of the best cards in the game right now. Four star, four star, high medium, five foot nine. He's got that perfect combination to just be an absolutely insane dribbler. So watch out for Lucas Moore. If you see this guy in somebody's team, I think he will be a very good player. I'm definitely going to try out a lot of these guys um, as the weekend goes on. He looks very good. Martial honestly looks like one of the best strikers in the game. Um, I, I kid you not. Like, I look at this card, he's 1.1 mil, but. He looks incredible. High low work rates, four star skills with a five star weak foot. Like that's just crazy. He also has the finesse shot trait. You give Martial a hunter and this card is a problem. Hunter or Hawk. The thing I also love about Martial is that EA's made his passing so good. He's got 90 short passing um, with 86 vision. So it's an incredible card. 90 finishing, um, 92 acceleration. Really liking what I'm seeing here. I think this card looks absolutely out of this world. Um, again, I can't believe I'm saying that about yet another card, but it's another card that to me I look at and I'm like, damn, that card just looks nuts. Um, Alessandrini is also another, you know, you guys know for the memes, but, you know, a little bit harder to link, but honestly, not that bad. You know, a French icon, um, any player from France, right? You can link them easily, get it done. High low work rates, four star, four star, 95 agility with 92 balance. I mean, what am I seeing, man? 87 reactions. I mean, just such a good card like amazing striker amazing cam you know and i like to think about these cards is that they actually have such good base stats 
that you can almost put any chemistry style that you want on these guys and kind of make it work for whatever you want to play with them. So Alessandrini, again, like he kind of reminds me of that. I think he's got some incredible stats. We will be trying him out. You know, we've got another Prem center back in Soyonsu. Um, this is a guy that looks super usable. I even think it's still faster than 82 pace in real life, but really good card, good work rates, great weak foot, great aggression. I called him today on stream an auto defender because he's got the 90 defensive awareness, the 96 aggression, and the 88 composure with really good dribbling stats. So I really like the look of this card. He's already 90K, so the value of this guy is incredible um, at his current price. I think Kieran Tierney looks amazing, a great Prem left back. It's, there's just so many good cards. Morales is another guy um, that just looks out of this world good. You know, he's always good in FIFA too. Four-star, four-star combination, great work rates. Great shooting, uh, great pace, great dribbling. So should be a demon card in the La Liga. I remember his what-if card last year was absolutely incredible. And EA have just, I think they've smashed it with the player selection. Links, like all these players, you know, Florenzi's 29K. He's got 86 pace. I mean, Florenzi looks absolutely incredible for 29,000 coins. Um, the value here is just crazy good. Um, there's so many good cards in this promo. I even think Florenzi's actually like best suited as a center mid um, is really the way that I look at it. And then, don't forget Collins, guys. This dude, by the way, is a 2003, I believe, uh, birth date. I think he's a two. No, I think he might even be a 2004. I think he's a 2004, guys. Um, I actually didn't know who this was um, until you know he came out today, which is poor because I watch a lot of the Bundesliga, but I didn't know who this guy was. And guys, this card now it does have a little bit of a question mark with a couple of things. I would say mainly the defensive awareness at 80 is quite low. That aggression is also low, and the composure is low for a center back. Well, screw that. The guy has 90 agility and 89 pace. It's just, it's a it's a very intriguing card that's so easy to link, right? The fact that if you did Sule Showdown SBC, you have this guy with him, that would actually be the perfect combination because Sule is a guy that's more of that, that bully, and you've got this guy that's more of that faster center back to play with him. I always feel like the combination of one center back that just really gets out there and bullies for you, and then another center back who's a little bit quicker on the ball, is always a really nice combination to have. So this Collins card looks absolutely incredible. I'd be curious to see if any of you guys play with him. Drop me a tweet and let me know, you know how he is. I, I'm very curious because his stats look really good. You always wonder sometimes with EA boosting these players that you know have a base bronze or a base silver, are they really going to play that well? Um, and I guess that's what I would be curious about you know, with his card. Um, let's talk about the season cards real quick before we talk about the market. I always like to end the videos kind of talking about the market with you guys. Um, so we did get a new season today. Uh, today is the start of season, uh, season three or four. And of course, EA is taking me right to the store when I don't want to go to the store. I want to look at the seasons with you guys. Um, how do I get to the seasons menu, guys? This is a problem. Uh, am I really like losing my mind right now? Objectives. Here we go. Sorry, guys. It's been a long week. Um, so obviously we've got nothing crazy here. For the, the level 15, for me, guys, it's just not good enough. Um, this is interesting, not because of anything else besides the fact that he's Brazilian and he's got really nice stats, really good dribbling, really good jumping, very good aggression, decent defending, a little bit low on the composure. So he looks good. I would choose Nathan for the level 15. And then level 30 was disappointing. You know, these cards are not going to be good in January. They're not even good right now. So I would like to see EA really step these up a little bit. I think this card is actually interesting, though. Uh, three star, four star. You know, he 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 plays in the EFL too. For me, like the season, and by the way, you know, actually, box to box, wait a second. I haven't even seen this card. Holy crap. All right, so this guy is harder to link, but this guy, you know, Pozuelo looks interesting. I think these are good for the objectives. For me, something is telling me that the MLS is going to have a huge requirement. We've got a bunch of MLS players in the season. So maybe you invest in a couple of those cards, those specials, those golds. They should go up a lot whenever there's something coming out. Um, this guy's cool because he's four star, five star. I always love him in FIFA. Uh, he's got a really solid looking card, but you know, for me guys, like after looking at, uh, you know, this guy, wow, this guy looks crazy. Right. And he's a little bit smaller too. So he's got that Conte vibe, amazing dribbling, like really good, really good, decent defending. And then just boom, stamina, aggression, and strength just looking crazy. Um, that's actually really interesting. I think EA also added a new pack somewhere in here. I think they added like a draft token. Yeah. So that's nice of EA 17 is a draft token. That's a little bit better. Um, and yeah, so that we didn't get a new objective. We'll get a new objective tomorrow. In my opinion, we might get a party bag. I think tomorrow's going to be a party bag. Um, that's my guess. I don't know if the party bag today expired, but tomorrow should be a party bag. As for my account, guys, I talked about it last night. Like I went all in on the first wildcard team. Um, I did really well. I did really, really, really well. Uh, I had, you know, Semedo at 58. I had Savage at a hundred. 
Um, who else did I have? I had some Modric's at 600. I just sold them at 770. Um, I had some David's at 88. Um, yeah, we've done very well. We had Twanzebe at 140. So they had a really nice rise. They rose because, guys, these cards are just very high in demand. And they were just so low because of lightning rounds. That's why they were low, right? A lot of the time, these cards will go up. And any card that's out of packs is always rising with lightning rounds because lightning rounds, lightning rounds brings coins into the market. It hurts players that are in packs, but players that are out of packs usually see a rise because people get richer uh, from lightning rounds, except this crazy guy who opens packs with coins. But don't, don't watch this guy. Um, as for this new team... And, oh, another move that I made was Team of the Week. I bought Team of the Week last night. I bought Morris for, like, 30, Quadrado for, like, uh, 50. I sold Quadrado at 68 this morning, and Morris at 37. Similar channel with Lewandowski as well. So, yeah, we did very well. We're making a lot of coins. And to be honest, it's obvious that we're making a lot of coins because we've been around 10 recently. I traded a couple of the new cards today. Not done too much because of the supply. I had some hazards that I bought at 390. I sold this at 450. I just sold Sterling at, like, 420. I sold them around 460. Here's the sales from the rest of the cards. And then, other than that, I have to list a lot of the fodder that we have. We have so much fodder. Um, it's actually quite ridiculous. A lot of this stuff doesn't even sell at the moment, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I don't have the ability to um, really put it in my club because I think it's all dupes. So that's why it's on the transfer list. So I don't even know if 83s are actually selling right now. I can go ahead and check, but I doubt it. Yeah, they're not even selling. So we're just going to go ahead... And uh, we're going to just quick sell the transfer list real quick because I don't even think any of these guys are selling at the moment. So I just want to clear up the space here because we don't we, we really don't need any of these guys. These were a lot of the guys for my player picks today. And then, yeah, other than that, I mean, doing really well, guys. The only cards that we really haven't sold yet is a couple of these Savages, uh, which, you know, those are on the way out. Spinozola is actually not really up too much. I wonder if that's because of Florenzi um, or Tierney. I think a lot of people might be trying out Tierney. So he's only 134, which is not great, right? But we had a couple and then... My main guy that I bought a lot of was like a low budget, a really safe option was Luca Bacchio. And the reason I bought him was because I know a lot of people had that Mbabu card uh, given to them by EA, the ice version. Um, so this card was just doing well all week. And uh, he's like, I think he's like 20K now. So I'm just going to list him for lazies because I think he's actually going to go higher. Um, and we bought a lot of these around like 16K, right? So really stable price to get him at. Um, and I think I have a couple... A couple still uh, just chilling on my transfer list, and I'll, I'll try to go ahead and uh, put whatever of those I can into the club and, and clear out kind of kind of this stuff out. Um, so yeah, I mean, what's next, really, guys? I think prime icons are down a ton. I wanted to go ahead and take a look at those a little bit because I think prime icons are just down like an extreme amount on the market. Um, I'm pretty sure, and I think the the reason for that is that EA keep dropping these 86 plus star packs um, and these kind of crazy packs, and I think what it's really doing to the market is like. It just the market the market's not able to handle that right and so because these prime icons were just so rare uh for the longest time you know as a result basically what's going on is that they're dropping in price the, the other thing i want to talk about is i had been telling you guys all year to stock informs in your club right and if you guys listen to that advice a couple weeks ago they're all up a lot i'm not going to sell them yet we probably have in our club like i would say close to 60 team of the weeks that are at 10k profit each so we're, we're probably making like 600K on these informs. I think there's going to be another party bag this weekend. So I'm just going to hold on to them because I think they're going to go up a lot more. Um, and it's just worth the risk. If we've waited this long, we might as well. So I think there's a chance they might go up more. I'm not saying, I'm not sitting here saying invest guys, but I am saying at the same time that I think they're just going to go higher. So, you know, you, you probably don't have to sell if you don't want to. Um, and yeah, that's, that's really my take with those. In terms of the watch list, let's kind of see what's going on here. And then other than that, we'll kind of look at the squad. And I want to talk about one other thing with you guys. So, yeah, this is the watch list. Again, like watching Sterling, watching Fabinho, and just have these Luca Bacchios, you know, 15 to 17 to 20K. So I'll probably list those eventually um, when I get a minute. But, yeah, so squad, I don't have my squad ready really for the weekly. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Right now it's untradeable. I did complete Davies today, so I'm really excited to start using Davies off the bench. I think he's going to be so good uh, for me at the end of the games. Um, and, uh, other than, uh, my tradable club has been so good this year because we've just been sending everything. Um, what I wanted to go look at and show you guys was that EA, like, made an absolutely incredible change, uh, to foot champ. So, I didn't realize, but today I finally saw the qualifying rewards. If you go 10 and 0, which is something that I may actually start to sweat for, you get an 100k pack, a 35k pack, and a 50k pack, all tradable for the, uh, the playoffs qualifying. So, for me, it's going to be even more sweaty, I think. 
Rank two is a 55k pack, a 45, and a small bird gold players pack. Rank three is a is a jumbo premium. So this is, I think, I think this one is six wins. Or no, this is uh seven wins. But I mean these rewards are just incredible for even just qualifying. I mean, if you if you go six and four, I think this one is. No, this is even less. This might be this is six six wins, right? If you get six wins, you get two thirty-fives and a twenty-five. I mean, that's just crazy good. And like, yeah, it's just this weekend league's gonna be really sweaty, guys. So you know, maybe make sure, guys, that you, you spend your Christmas having fun. Maybe don't sweat foot champs this weekend. Uh, I'll be sweating tomorrow. If you guys want to come watch on stream, I'll be at least playing some games with the new cards. So I guess if you guys, uh, I guess if you guys want to see a guy, you know, a grown man sweating, uh, we will be sweating. So you're welcome to join in. And I think, you know, other than that, I'm just going to be on the market tonight, probably a little bit, watching some of the new cards later today. Maybe some of the icons. I mean, I know the prime icons are going down so much, but... I just got to be careful with these guys because they're going to only go lower, um, you know, with EA keeping the supply of the market. But I, I do want to go to the 59th minute with you guys real quick. And I do want to see a couple of these prices because I haven't looked at them yet. And I am very curious to see, like, how much they've dropped. I see that the icon market is down at 60, which is very low. Um, but I do want to see kind of what's been going on with these guys. If I can get over to the 59th minute. And you say, Nick, why do you go to the 59th minute? The 59th minute, guys, is always the best place to see, you know, all of the listings that are new. So that's why I like going there because I can kind of see basically, you know, who's packing an icon right now and what they're listing it up for and see if there's a big undercut. It also just gives me a better sense of what's a realistic price uh, for a player. That's why I like going there. So let's get over there. Let's get to the 59th minute. Wow, Zanetti's 540. Okay. Van Basten is 405K. Okay, so these cards are literally dead. Oh my God. <laughs> so the lightning rounds today must have killed these cards. Um, and it's because they just had no supply. Del Piero's prime. 638k wow okay so these cars are just in the mud uh oh my god zidane is 5.4 so this guy dropped a million coins today what is going on here okay so rooney all right so this is pretty cool for me to see guys because like i've been watching these cards all week and you guys know some of you guys have been following my content i've been trading these guys a little bit man like these cards are in the mud that is just nuts to see um gary lineker 343k what this will probably do eventually too if it hasn't already, is it's going to end up correcting a lot of the mid and the baby icons as these guys get cheaper. Because I think a lot of people will shift their interest to in wanting to try these cards. Obviously, primes are kind of the daddy, the daddy cards, the best cards. So people really want to see how they play. And uh, look, man, I got to say this, guys. EA, this is in a way a good thing for the market. And the thing, the th maybe not the market, but the game. The reason I say that is that I believe that this is going to force EA to not release super overpriced icon SBCs. Like, they're going to have to release cheaper Icon SBCs, especially with the price of fodder. Um, there's just no way that they can overprice these SBCs because people are just not going to do the SBCs if they're overpriced. People are just going to go onto the market and say, hey, I want to buy this guy off the market. Yeah, Socrates, 840. 820 for Prime Socrates. Oh, my God. Mudded. These guys are mudded. So I do think that they probably will go down all night, and then they'll probably go up tomorrow because they'll have no supply. Of lightning round so they'll probably get really low tonight yeah this socrates is so low so he actually was at 900 then he went he went all the way back up that is just crazy oh my god that is crazy okay wow anyways guys i'm gonna end the video there merry christmas to you guys hopefully you guys have an amazing time and we'll have videos and a stream tomorrow we're gonna play weekly tomorrow on twitch and yeah anything else any other plugs no no other plugs i think guys you guys are the best i love you guys see you guys later peace